Good evening from a very dull and miserable Turkey. Look at this. Looks like it's ready to thunder and lightning. But yeah, I'm making this video. Many of you keep asking me. I've got to Peshawar, Callum. Well, I've been to Peshawar and I'm going to show you exactly what happened. Good afternoon from Peshawar. I thought I'd start my video here because I've had a little bit of a nightmare this morning. Which I'll tell you about once I get something to eat. I'm just outside this place and it looks absolutely fantastic. Comes highly recommended. Very busy street here, Namak Monday Street. Some of you may recognise it. But what a morning I've had. Um, I'll tell you once I go inside. But this caught my eyes straight away. Can't get any fresher than that. This is Dika. Nice. So yes guys, this is exactly what I've ordered. That's exactly what I've ordered. So yeah, I've got a driver today. Um, he's just driving me about. He drove me to Peshawar. So I've invited him for lunch and I'm getting blinded by the sun here. But look at this. invasion here in Peshawar. So is it, this is the Karahi. Wow. That looks amazing. Getting in the chef's road here. But yes, look at that. That looks absolutely superb. I'm getting in the road, got a bit of a sweat on, it's very hot in here. I think I'll leave the man to get it all prepared, instead of getting in his road, but look at that, it's superb. Thank you sir, thank you. Yes, I'm really looking forward to this. A lot happening here, a lot going on. Right, so let's get seated and I'll tell you exactly what happened so far today. So the plan was to go to the gun market this morning. A little bit of a problem though. We turned up at the gun market. Um, I started to see the shops that sell the handmade guns. Popped out of the car, went into the shop, asked the man if it was okay to make a little film. Next minute he called the police and the police arrived. Told me to sit down. They did make me chai though, which was nice. Told me there was no way that I could film any of it, no way that I could film out in the actual streets. I wasn't allowed to make any food videos in the area either. They said I did not have permission to be there. Um, I have no idea why I couldn't just go out and make a little a little street food video. Um, they said no videos at all. They also told my driver if I did pull my camera out, he used to call them instantly and they would take me to, to the jail cell. So, yes, not, not, not a good start here. Yes, it's been about 10 minutes, I can smell the food and it looks brilliant. I'm walking by everybody and I can see everybody's plates and they look absolutely phenomenal. I'm really, really looking forward to this. Busy little spot here. This is a guy come to me from Leeds. Um, quite surprised again to hear the English accent here in Peshawar. But yeah, it seems to be British Pakistanis everywhere at the minute. Seem to be following me. And do you know what else I've noticed? Um, as many of you all know, I get called a Gora. Uh, I've noticed a lot of white, uh, sort of white, pale skin, shall we say, uh, with bright blue eyes. And someone actually thought I was from Afghanistan. So yes, a few, a few Goras around here. And some of the food has now arrived. Thank you, sir.
that looks absolutely superb. I've got a few people around about me watching me, so they're going to actually have to watch me stuff in my face here. I cannot wait to eat this, it looks absolutely glorious. So yes, look at this, this looks absolutely superb. I'm about to give this a go, I'm looking forward to this. Oh wow. Mm. Mm. That is actually beautiful, seriously beautiful. Very salty as well. So is. And we are out of there, that was superb. So that was about, I think it was about 15 quid or something like that. Give or, give or take, could be a little bit less, but burst as per usual. So plans fell flat on its face today, can't get to the gun market, so I'm going to just mooch about and we'll see what happens. So this place makes handmade shoes. And everything's handmade here in Peshawar. Handmade guns, handmade shoes. Yes, guys, these are all handmade. Look at them. This is the shoes from Imran Khan. Imran Khan shoes. Captain Chappell. Captain Chappell. Captain Chappell. Captain Chappell. Captain Chappell. Imran Khan shoes. They look nice. Very nice. So that's the details. Darren Semi is here. Yep. Uh, take some shoes from this shop. Darren Sami, you know, the West Indies cricket captain. Oh, the West Indies cricket yeah. captain also got his shoes from here. Yeah, yeah. Wow. So He's yes, a captain of the yeah. West Indies cricket team. Yeah, so there we go, guys. If you want a new pair of hand, uh, handmade shoes, then this is the man to contact. And his email address and information is there. So yes, guys, this is a shoe section here, just off the main drag. All handmade shoes. I just noticed this big shoe here. Look at this. So yes, yeah, busy little spot here. Hello sir, how are you? Salam. Nice to meet you. You look very happy. Just making a little video. So yeah, at that point I noticed I was getting watched again, so I decided to put the camera off. So yeah, that's exactly what happened to me in Peshawar. However, I'm going to give it a second chance. I'm going back to Pakistan in about three days from now, and we're going to hit Peshawar. Uh, I've heard, and that's the thing, many people film in Peshawar. Many people, there's many videos there. I'm not quite sure, I think I just caught them on a bad day. However, roll on Pakistan in three days, and I'll see you soon.